So for me, I don't see it as a transition. I see it more as an evolution of Ranveer the person, uh, Ranveer the human being, Ranveer the artist. Dire um, dire, you know, uh, once you get um, familiar with the art of expressing yourself through your medium, so you look for more mediums to express yourself. This for me is an extension of the artist in me. Uh, the actor in me is purely an extension of the artist in me per se. It was outstanding working with uh, the likes of um, Hansal Mehta sir and Karina. I think both of them uh, were more than willing to sort of go that extra step to help me feel comfortable, to help me settle down, to help me get the character, get into the character and and uh, gave me the conviction to deliver the character. My biggest challenge was preparing for that role. The challenge was that I am otherwise a black and white uh, uh, mein reh raha hu, as Ranveer Brar, sab kuch achha hona and this was a pehla grey character tha. Um, um, aur ye grey character bahut um, alag um, alag jagah ja raha tha bahut negative jagahon pe ja raha tha kuch you know so wo jo jagahein thi unko navigate karna mere liye interesting or challenging tha The, every scene was tough for me. You know, it is not that I was sort of <laughs> born into acting. But uh, yeah, the moment that sort of everybody talks about is the slap moment where sort of Karina slaps me. And that slap never happened. She had never actually slapped me. But we had to take it 15 times because I could not swing my head to her slap. But the moment that sort of defines me in that film is the first take that I did when Karina comes uh, for the first time as Jazz Bamra uh, and and she she sort of talks to the family and then you know the scene where Ranveer says Inka to Nalka khul gaya hai, baaki baad mein kar that scene was the first take was really bad from my side and those three minutes looking at everybody around me were my defining moments to say Ranveer will you be able to do it or not is this where you belong or not and I'm so glad it turned out the way it did I think uh, everybody, everybody should have uh, a say. And if somebody is saying trained actors should be given uh, should be given roles, I completely and totally respect that. I think um, as I get to understand the medium more, uh, I will be able to speak on it um, even more. But abhi ke liye mujhe lag, mujhe ye lagta hai ke जो आपका किरदार है वो आपके ऑब्जर्वेशन से और आपके कन्विक्शन से पोर्ट्रे हो सकता है ट्रेनिंग की जरूरत पड़ेगी तो मैं ऑब्वियसली आगे जाके ट्रेनिंग भी लूंगा बट आई कंप्लीटली रिस्पेक्ट दोस ओपिनियंस सो आई बिलीव दैट इवेंचुअली एवरीबॉडीज रेपुटेशन इज एट स्टेक इन अ फिल्म राइट आई बिलीव एवरीबॉडी वांट्स टू मेक अ गुड फिल्म and just because somebody uh, is known to you or somebody is a known face, uh, but it compromises on the outcome of the film, nobody will take you for that. A director will never risk his reputation uh, and cast you because you are a known face. At the end of the day, nobody wants to risk their reputation, right? People don't cast people for fun. Uh, it's their reputation at stake. And hence... Um, uh, it's a great responsibility for everybody, whether you're a celebrity, non-celebrity, to deliver whatever is in front of you. And that's, I think that's what, that's what should matter.